In this Get Started tutorial, we will show you how to build your first Enterprise Dynamics model. It's a manufacturing system with one machine. Here you see a 3D view of the model. Products are generated and are waiting to be processed by a machine. In 2D, you see the modeling objects that are used to build this model. In Enterprise Dynamics, these modeling objects are called atoms. The product atoms are visualized as blue circles. Products are created by the source, wait in the queue, are processed in the server, and leave the model in the sink. Now it's time to build this model. When you launch Enterprise Dynamics for the first time, it opens showing the example wizard. Here you have easy access to the example models. The model layout, also referred to as 2D Builder, is where you build the model. You build it by dragging the required atoms from the library into the layout. The library is organized in several groups. For this first model, you only need atoms from the basic modeling group. Drag in this order. A source, a queue, a server, and a sync atom into the layout. We are almost ready to run the model. The run control is used to run the model. When you press the reset button, a product is created left of the source. The source will create copies of this atom and place these into the model. Click Run to start the simulation. The clock starts to run and products are processed by the server. Control the speed by dragging the slide bar. The simulation will run until you click Stop. You can also check the option Run until Stop Time and set a specific time. Double-click an atom to open its property window. Here you can change properties, such as the cycle time of the machine. You can watch the simulation in 3D as well. Zoom holding both left and right mouse button and move the mouse up or down. The building can be dragged in the model from the Virtual Reality group of the library. Results can easily be shown in the layout using the atoms from the Results group. You can select which atom to monitor. Besides the utilization displayed on the server, the status monitor now shows the percentage of time the machine is in a specific status, in this case, idle or busy. Want to learn more? Watch the Getting Started series to learn the basic concepts and steps to build your own enterprise dynamics models. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.